understanding the nervous system is probably some of our weakest link in chiropractic. So we've got to get back to going, here's the bigger picture. Now let's break down the details. Does the care that you provide leave your office? Get them in a group, get them connected. We all need this. In other words, we are not designed to be alone. And we can't ever accept that we are. There's just a lot of like neurology that I learned this weekend that's going to be super helpful for like all my patients, not just my pediatric patients, but a lot of my adult patients as well. Most of us, myself included, got a great education on drawing the brachial plexus and the lumbar plexus. And then all that, that kind of connected everything, like the proprospinal tract and so forth, maybe didn't get discussed so much. It's getting me excited to put this into practice right away. As I look at development, if we understand how a child should develop, then you kind of understand how mom and dad should be. So really what we start doing for the child is also good for mom and dad. Sometimes when you remove a subluxation and you restore hope in an individual, you just get like, wow. Don't let the pride of your technique supersede the needs of the patient. I'm gonna change everything in my practice. Our nervous system is gonna work better. We're gonna be better people. We're gonna have a better community. We're gonna have a better lifestyle. We're gonna have a better world.